Welcome to my unlock guide for the F2000 Assault Rifle. Now, you need to complete three tasks. You need one Assault Ribbon, ten kills in the Metro, and two Assist Ribbons. Now, I didn't need to get the Assault Ribbon on PC in the same game as the other two tasks, but that might not be the case for you. It seems to be different for the consoles for some reason. Uh, the Assault Ribbon seems to reset every game. The 10 kills is easy, however you need to be aware that for a kill to count you need to get the kills inside the actual metro building, so in other words you need to be inside the train station kind of complex. Now for the more tricky part, the 3 assist ribbons, what worked well for me was I used the SKS DMR and I just shot people once and tagged them for the assist. Now I chose the SKS with the uh, ACOG site as I found it a lot easier to tag targets, especially the ones that are more further away in the back lines. Another way is you can try using the support class and find a good spot, drop an ammo crate and just spam air burst, and that should net you the kills and the assists. You should be able to do this assignment in one game, as I said before the assault ribbon I did in a previous game, but the 10 kills and the 2 assist ribbons need to be done in one game. You could easily do this assignment without even really knowing it and passively complete it unintentionally. Also, 1 assist ribbon means you need 5 assists. You can also try throwing either a grenade or an LVG round or the M34 grenade at a choke point to get the assist. You can use whatever weapon you feel is best suited for you, but Try to tag the people that are in the front lines as they're more likely to die from your teammates quickly. Now as for the F2000, it looks really cool, it has a really nice futuristic look. I used it for a game once, I unlocked it, and so far it seems to be a very solid assault rifle. To the point it may actually be your preferred go-to weapon for the assault class. The F2000 has a fire rate of 850, so it's pretty dangerous for close range gunfights. It's a bullpup design, so you can expect really good hip fire, but that means that the reload speeds will be slow, which is the case. Uh, the empty reload speed is 3.9 seconds, and the tactical reload speed is 2.7 seconds, so it's rather slow, and I would highly recommend always try and do a tactical reload. Its recoil is definitely one of its strong points. It only has 0.24 degrees upward recoil, 0.4 to the left and 0.5 to the right, so it's fairly easy to counter. I would say when you shoot, move your mouse or joystick down and slightly to the left because the F2000 does pull to the right quite a bit, especially if you really just let it go. However, one of its weak points is it has a very high first shot multiplier of 3, so expect quite a kick when you first start firing. As usual, if you have any more tips not mentioned in this video, please leave it in the comment section so people can know. I'll do a proper F2000 review in the near future, it's definitely one of my favourite guns at the moment. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed watching this, and also make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of my content. So take care and I'll see you next time.